Hey there, everybody. I'm just going to go ahead and install this cool retro term package for uh, my elementary OS system here. It's just a really cool looking terminal. We've got some screenshots down here. This is the GitHub listing for this program. You can see from the screenshots, this uh, program makes your terminal or actually it's a terminal that looks a little bit like the uh, f terminal from the video game Fallout. And down here we've got information about Ubuntu users, uh, how they can install this. Uh, it's using this PPA. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'll click here too. I'll uh, post some information about the um, information for copy and pasting to the install this thing in, uh, in the description. But basically this is the PPA we want to add to our listing here. So I'll copy that and I'm going to go here to the terminal. And I'll add that into my sudo add, whoops, add apt repository. Uh, Part of my memory here. That's okay. There we go. We're going to go ahead and add this to my local repo listing. Enter to confirm that. And uh, from there, I can go ahead and go sudo apt get update. This will take a moment. Just updating my local repo listing with that newly available package, the cool retro term package. And it should finish in just a moment. And once that's done, I can go ahead and install this from the apt-get command. There we go. sudo apt-get install cool-retro-term. And see what it does. Ooh, 21 megabytes. That's actually a little bit heavy for what I wanted to install here. Hopefully this won't take too long. I'll zoom this. I'll fast forward this through if, uh, if this takes too long. It's actually kind of helpful to see this this working through. You can see all of the dependencies like the Qt package. So I believe that once that's all set, uh, we should be able to then access the terminal from here, uh, from the menu. So let's go to System Tools, and there it is. Cool retro term. Let's run it. And there we go. That's our terminal. And see from there we can for instance all s and yep there are my folders um pseudo uh shoot let's just actually let's just go into documents just to see what that looks like oh here we go uh cd futurism dash dark syntax i'm going to go ahead and post some other videos because i think this is actually just so cool and here <clears throat> Actually, let's just use Vim and index.lesss. Let's just see what this looks like. In Vim. Oh, great. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Vim package.json. Great. And there you can see Vim at work in this little program. And let's go ahead and exit that. And that's basically it. That's yeah, a cool little terminal. Oh, actually, there are a whole bunch of options that this thing has. I hopefully can go through those in a separate uh, video. But basically, you've got all of these different, uh, let's see, where are they all? We've got a bunch of different uh, temp, oh, here we go, different profiles. Uh, default amber, here's uh, default green, uh, default scan lines. You can see it's, it looks a bit different there. Whoops, uh, default pixelated, there we go. Just for a little bit more of an old old school computer uh, look, Apple II appearance. <laughs> Anyone who works with worked with the Apple II in the old days would uh, recognize this. But anyway, that's basically it. Uh, it's similar to another any other record uh, uh, terminal too. You can actually copy and paste from the terminal. But uh, anyway, that's basically it. See you in another video.